Portrait Artist of the Year, Season 5, Episode 2. This is a good one, lots to talk about, but before we get started, I just want to put a plea out to please like and subscribe my to my channel. Uh, turns out that's super important on YouTube. Let's get started. First up is Anne Reed who is an actress who's been in many, many, many things. You might know her the best from Last Tango in Halifax, which is a television series, I think either on Acorn or Britbox. She often plays the mother, um, and a good mother, <laughs> I have to say. She has a pretty friendly face. Four hours after the artist began, there are three artists painting her. They turn their easels around, and she's going to choose one of these to take home with her, which has nothing to do with the final judging. That's a beautiful piece, don't you think? I thought it was watercolor, but it isn't. It's very watered-down acrylic, but it's so carefully observed. It's, it has softness, building of forms. This is, this is really quite masterful. Uh, I enjoy this, but here's the problem. When you pull back, it so much is lost. I don't know what you do about that when you are, um, I, I only know what to do about that as a watercolor painter, and I would assume that you would go in and give it more layers, but that's a good effort. Next one up is this one. I love this piece of painting. It's a lovely piece of painting, but it doesn't look like her at all. And I do think that uh, in a competition program, it needs to look like the sitter, especially if the program is called Portraits Artist of the Year. But it's a fine piece of painting. This person knows what they're doing. And it's also uh, reads better when you pull back than, than that first one we saw. But here's the one that I really, really enjoyed the most, probably because of its simplicity of forms and the directness with which the artist puts the uh, paint on the canvas. You can see the strokes that he's made. Very carefully done. And not with a palette knife. This is, I, I don't think, oh, this, some of it was done with a brush. Maybe some was done with a palette knife. I don't, I'm not sure though. I think it might be a flat brush, which gives you that uh, flat can almost give you like structural forms. Anyway, Annie's going to pick one to take home and she picks this one, which I, I, I agree. I just think that's a beautiful piece of painting. I would have, I would have chosen that one as well. And also it has a resemblance to her. So good for him. Now we go on to the next one. The next model is David Gandy. I'll give you three seconds to figure out what David Gandy is famous for. One, two, three. Yes, he's a fashion model. I guess he's also an actor, but all you have to do is look at that face and say, he's not one of us. He's one of those genetically gifted people. He's just, you know, perfectly symmetrical, perfect features. There we go. So now four hours later, the artists turn their easels around, and there are some pretty surprising paintings that come out of this particular clump of artists. Here's the first one, and I do think this looks like him. This is a good job. Uh, the face is relaxed. There isn't a lot of color being used here. Not, not, there's nothing wrong with that. There are lots of neutrals being used here. I, I just think this is a fine painting. Closer up, I don't like what happens. I don't like when you can see the canvas through the paint. I, It's just something that kind of bugs me. Uh, here's the second one. This one does not look as much like him, but does have features that he has. But um, let's take a look. I find it very odd. <laughs> Just, this is, bear with me, because what the artist does, and artist is, art is subjective, and she brought her personality, but what she did was, she, the format is this long, thin format with these cherubs above him. They were not above, there was nothing above him in the real background, so she invented that. It does read well when you pull back, and a generous amount of paint was used, but it's weird. Here's one that uh, I really like this one. I love the intensity of color. Uh, he almost looks like he has an ironic expression. Looks very much like him. This is just beautifully done. And when you pull back, it really holds up in terms of color as well. Nothing got chalky or washed out. This is, this is really nice work. So I am suspecting that she will 
probably win this episode, but hashtag Joe is always wrong. I will probably be wrong, <laughs> but, which is fine. I don't mind being wrong because I'm not a judge. Happily, I'm not a judge. I'm just a happy observer. And this is fine painting, and that's what I want to see, people doing the, their best work. All right, David picks one to take home, and he's picked this one, as would I. Beautifully done. Now, the next uh, model up is Ashley Wal Walters. Yes, Ashley Walters. He is a rapper. He is also an incredibly good-looking man. And, and what I mean by good-looking, again, which is subjective, is just how symmetrical his features are. It's, it's just kind of amazing. Uh, there's nothing... It's, it, it's, whereas char character actors tend to have less perfectly symmetrical faces. Now, on to... They turn the easels around. And boy, this group... Woo, uh, I always do that sound. I'm sorry, I have to stop doing the woof and I have to stop doing the all right, but uh, I say that too much. Here is the first one. It must have been done on scratch board. I don't think it looks like him at all. I know the uh, judges like and respond to things that are different, and this is certainly a different technique than what we've seen before, but I stand by it has to have a resemblance to him. Here's the other problem with this one for me. Here, when we pull back, see how small it is? Now remember, Final prize is a commission that's going to go in a gallery and has to be a big piece. And this is not demonstrating that she can handle that. On to the next one. The next one also does not look like him. <laughs> I mean, it just doesn't. It's, it's very, very bland. Uh, it's in so tentative. Oh my gosh, so tentative. Now, I do not know about oil paint, so anybody can correct me, but what is it that happens when it looks quite colorful close up and then when you pull back everything is lost and becomes chalky it looks like this painting was started out as a new pair of blue jeans and got put in the wash a hundred times it's just washed out now on to the next one this is a pretty gritty piece of of work and by gritty i just mean the color choices the color choices are quite cold and um and the there's a lot of uh, dynamic, large forms. This is a very confident piece and, and, and has a very, I don't want to say unique style, but because the style isn't unique, but her color palette definitely is. This is an unusual pick for a dark-skinned person, these colors in particular, I mean pink especially. Let's see which one Ashley picks. And indeed, he didn't have the richest field to choose from, and so he chose this one. And I do think this one bears a resemblance to him, so that's great. Now we go on to the final judging. The final judging has nothing to do with what just happened. All of the artists are considered, and they're going to pull three of these artists. And from those three, they're going to discuss their work and then pick one who will be the winner of this episode, and then go on to the semifinals. And the semifinals are usually episode eight in this program. Here's the first one up. I, I, I agree with this completely. The color handling is, is beautiful. Composition is well done. Look how anchored in the form is. This is, this is really strong, confident work. So um, yeah, I would move this person ahead. The problem is I would also move this person ahead. <laughs> I just have a soft spot for this picture because it is the way I want to paint, using as few brush strokes as possible and giving the information you need without over-describing something. This one was the third one that they picked for the semifinals, and I don't have an explanation for why, except that it reinforces what they always say, that they want different techniques and different kinds of artists. So that fulfills their brief. Now, my favorite part of the program now is when we see the digital self-portrait that the artist submitted, which is the one on the left, and the work that they did today. The one on the left, they had unlimited time to do. The one today, they had four hours. I don't see a big difference, so the time constraints were not a problem here. But we've already talked about why I, I don't think this, pick, this painter is going to be considered to go on because of the final commission, which is... I just don't see how she could do that. Now, this one, self-portrait, all the time in the world to do, and looked exactly like him, and then the painting that he did today. They're, both are just really, really strong pieces. This person can definitely handle it. I'm, I'm, I'm already feeling sad because I want him to go forward, and I also want um, 
the next artist that we see to go forward as well. But uh, I, I, I suspect this might be just too simple and contemporary for them. Now, the next one, there's a self-portrait on the left and the portrait that she did today on the right. I actually think the one on the left is, is not as strong as the one on the right. Her color sense got a little out of control on her, her face. I love the variety of color, don't get me wrong, but there's something about the values of those colors that is not stacking up into uni um, satisfying forms for me. So, who will be the winner? The winner is... Dun, 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 dun. Well, I'm not truly surprised, and I have no problem with this at all, but this is the winner. So, on to the final she goes. And I think she'll be able to handle that final commission. So, so far, we're like I said, we're on episode two, so we have two people going on to the finals. Well, the semifinals, they're called. So, remember to keep the... White to your paper white, your paint sweat, mats for value, mix for color. Please subscribe to this little um, dog and pony show of a channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.